Oh, that's just great. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we finally, I finally started using the SnapBridge app from the Nikon to the phone, and this is making life a lot easier already. Sweet. I love it. We can see that we're in it. Welcome to 2010. <laughs> um, hey, everybody. Hi, guys. You haven't, you haven't seen us in a while. Yeah, we kind of left you hanging a little bit, um, but we have good excuses as always. Yeah. <laughs> but we're excited excuses. to fill you in, and we are getting ready to make videos again. So. Yeah, we finished the van, and are and have been living in it for the past week or so. One week, just one week. Just right at one week. It feels like longer because we've done a lot already, but. Uh, so yeah, we've been we've been living it in the van for a week and it's been spectacular uh, so far we have not run into any issues we have I mean we're still very much in the honeymoon phase um, but it's a very real one and we're really really enjoying it we've been doing a combination of driveway surfing paid campgrounds we're currently at one of the most amazing free campgrounds we've literally ever been to anywhere yeah and so. by the way um, uh Patrons, if you're watching, I'm getting ready to start uh, adding new campsite reviews to that list. You know, I used to do that in Bus Life, so they're coming. I have at least two or three that I really am eager to share with you that I think are, are worth, uh, yeah. worth a review. So. We give uh, people that are our patrons just a little bit more of the content that we put on YouTube. So uh, things like campground reviews, like, mm -hmm. you know, we don't always stay in amazing places or really cool places, but occasionally there are some that we just like that are really stand out and so we are sure to include those to our patrons yeah and we upload little uh, wine and chats on there too which yeah. is just kind of just conversations just uncut little video yeah. conversations sometimes they're like in the form of a podcast but anyway yeah. if you're interested in that there's a link to patreon below yeah. kind of can't wait to do like a bus life versus van life video yeah because we've been talking about it the entire trip mm -hmm. like the, the How it compares. extreme differences between the two and um and there are extreme differences and there's a lot of similarities but there are some really extreme differences at least in our form of of bus life that we did before mm -hmm. to the version of van life that we're doing now um some pretty key differences and uh, i think it deserves its own video for sure Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys, because I'm very excited about this, the dogs have adjusted so Super well, fast. so well. It was my biggest concern in the bus, it was my biggest concern with the van, it's a smaller space, of course we're stepping over them sometimes, but, but we step over them in like, a, no matter what the space, you know, 800 square foot house or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that large? I don't think that's a I big think that's house. a small house. <laughs> My, my, my sense of space is completely warped after. Yeah, I think that's a, that's like a, that's like yeah, that a cabin, 200, like I think we had 200 little... square feet in the bus, right? So yeah. that's like a really, that's a room. Um, yeah, it's like a, like a large In a huge house, whatever square footage a huge house would be, we would still be stepping on. Oh yeah, for sure. But they're riding so well. Yeah. Um, they just settle right in. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. If you saw our last situation, we were staying at an Airbnb and converting the van there, which was awesome. Um, but about halfway through the build, Zach found out that he had a big job to prepare for mm -hmm. and that we couldn't extend our stay at the Airbnb any longer. So all of a sudden we were just kind of going yeah. full, like full speed ahead with the van build. No time to do much shooting. Definitely not right. time to do editing. We have a little bit bit of footage from that that if we can we'll sprinkle in but um you know it just that's just how it happened with our style of travel we're seriously running into far far fewer people yeah. than when we were like in a city or staying with her parents or something yeah. so um in that way it's actually been really good and we mask up anytime we have to go into anytime. the grocery store just like we did before so um yeah it's great to be able to wash hands with soap and water yes have a proper yeah. sink yeah that's actually interesting too because you know when we would run and get groceries in the car you get back to the car you do a little hand sanitizer which is better than nothing, but you know, nothing that beats soap and water and we were able to just hop back in and get a good wash yeah. up and, anyway. and washing and able to, able to like actually wash up right before you go into the store. That's true or too. Something too. So, so anyway, um, you guys stay tuned, uh, keep us up to date, let us know how you're doing in the comments. Um, 
yeah, sorry for seeing, being gone for so long, but we just had a lot of stuff to deal with. Yeah, but it's good to be back. It is I'm good really to be excited back. to sh we've already really experienced yeah. we've already experienced so much in a week and I can't wait to start sharing it again. So Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, look. You guys <laughs> take care of yourselves. We will see you on the next one in the meantime. Bye. Bye. spot right <laughs> but it's not no no it's just different angles and your hair's a little matted down from sleeping mm. no you definitely don't have a bald spot i think i did but no